guys. My name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the new body Ram truck 2019 and up. I'm going to show you guys an awesome new upgrade we came up with here at infotainment.com. It's blind spot monitoring, 100% uh, factory plug and play. You're going to be able to add that to your truck. It's an awesome safety feature. Installation is not very difficult. I'm going to show you guys today how to do it. But basically we're going to replace the tail guide or the tail light wiring on both sides obviously we're going to replace the tail light you are going to get the led tail lights with the built-in bsm module these things look great once we install both of them here we're going to route the wiring to the driver's side frame rail we're going to plug it into this y adapter here we're going to run the loom up into the cab and plug it into a slot right under the uh, driver's footwell area very easy installation. We also pair this with a uh, power folding mirror so you get the little LED indicator in the glass. Uh, they don't have to be power folding. That is something we do offer though. Uh, we are also exploring other options to make it a little bit more cost effective. Adding a little LED, this is just a prototype, adding some sort of little LED to the panel and on the door. So that might be a great option as well. Um, more details on that on our website. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, to remove the tail light, you're gonna have two Torx T20 screws here. Then you're gonna have some push pins. Now the push pins, you're gonna pull this part out first, and then the whole thing just pops right out. So you have two of these, and then two Torx T20 screws. You probably wanna hang on to the light a little bit, um, once you're taking out the screws, and then it just pops right out of place. Once you have the tail light out, pull out on your red tab, press in, and disconnect the cable. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to install the new wiring. Now you'll notice the wiring here. Some of you can pull it out if you want to. I'm just gonna leave it in in this particular scenario. Um, so put this end down. It'll kind of just dangle behind the bumper. We'll connect it all up shortly. But now we can just plug this into the new tail light. You'll hear it snap into place and then press the red tab in. Then it fits into the exact same location as the other tail light. and then you can reinstall the same hardware. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the passenger side. Remove the two push pins first, and then the two screws. Go ahead and put our wiring down. Again, you can remove this if you want. Just for this video, I'm just gonna have it hang. New tail lights in. We're gonna replace the hardware. All right, so the previous tailgate or tail light wiring runs in right here. Um, so what we wanna do is we wanna disconnect it, pull back on this little white tab here, then press it in and pull it back. This is what we're gonna connect the new wiring into. You'll hear it snap into place, push our lock in, and we can remove this and pop that, pop this in its place. Here on the passenger side, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Pull back on the tab. Disconnect it.
press our white tab in. Now we can route this additional wire to the other side of the truck. All right, so you'll notice the taillight wiring kind of comes up here, goes behind the spare tire over to the other side. So we're just gonna follow that same body harness using zip ties here just to make sure that things are nice and secure. We're just gonna follow it over to the driver's side. We now have both of them right here ready to go. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug both of these into our loom. You'll hear it pop into place. We'll secure this up here and then we'll run our wiring down the frame rail. Right here would be a good uh, place to do the zip tie. Then we're just gonna run this loom down the wiring, the existing wiring that goes down the frame rail.
right, we have our wiring run down the frame rail. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You're just gonna wanna bring it up, obviously. You'll be about right here, okay? So right along the frame rail here, just on the outside of it. Um, this is probably where your most people are gonna end up, right here. Now I went ahead and took off the wheel and tire and the fender liner. Fender liner's held in with 12 uh, eight millimeter screws and four uh, Christmas tree push pins. I went ahead and just removed it so I can show you guys where you're gonna go. But basic, you don't have to do that, by the way. You don't need to remove it. I just did it so you can see. Um, there's a couple different entry points. If you wanna come in to uh, where the floor is, you can come in through here. Now, what I decided to do was actually go in right through here where the emergency brake line goes in. Um, if you just take a little knife, you can actually just cut a little slit into it and it makes it real easy to be able to put your wiring through. When we're all done pulling our slack, we can just use a little bit of the RTV sealant. Now, you could reach down from above and do it. Doesn't matter where you put the slit. Um, you still won't have to take out your fender liner or your wheel. You just do it from above. So this is the entry point right here. You notice the slit is right back through here. So we'll go ahead and pull all of our excess wiring through. Once it's nice and tight, we know that it's through. Again, use some RTV sealant if you, if you can reach it down there um, from under the hood. Um, that way there's not gonna be any water intrusion. All right, now what we're gonna do is just pull this panel off. It just held in with retaining clips and then pull back on it. The installation of this is as easy as just plugging it in. There's gonna be a bunch of open slots right here. Just find one, plug it in. Now, all the extra cabling. Now, when I designed this harness, I designed it in a way, you know, it would work in long beds and mega cabs and stuff like that. So you will have a little bit of excess. Just coil it up, use a zip tie, find a good spot to tuck it in up here. All right, to install the OBD Genie tool program into the new body Ram 1500 2019 and up, the first thing we're gonna do before we run this fob in the OBD2 port, we're gonna plug in the security gateway module bypass. Now the gateway module is located just behind the headlamp switch. You can access it from underneath. So basically there's two plugs plugged into the gateway module. We just have to disconnect those two plugs and temporarily plug them into here. These are the two plugs. The module's located right behind here. Simply plug those two plugs into the bypass. Like that. Now we're gonna put the vehicle in the run position and plug in our Genie program. You'll see a series of lights. What we're waiting for is the solid green light. We do see the solid green light, so now we can remove it. It'll no longer be needed. All right, we shut the vehicle off. Now we're going to disconnect the two plugs we plugged into the bypass. And we're gonna plug these two plugs back into the gateway module. All right, this now completes the OBD Genie programming process. You can now stow these away. You will not need them anymore. Now I want to talk to you guys for a minute about the LED indicator. Now in this particular truck, we did a power folding mirror upgrade. And we also opted for the blind spot monitoring uh, LED indicator. That is something we carry on our website. So you'll have the option, couple different options as far as the indicator light. You can upgrade your mirrors or coming out later in the year, we'll have a little thing you can install right here which does the same thing. So look for that here pretty soon. Um, if you opt to do the mirrors, which is gonna be the most factory, uh, take a look at our YouTube channel. We show you exactly how to do it. You will notice after running your Genie programmer, if you go to the settings menu on your infotainment screen, 
safety and assistance, uh, blind spot alert. You'll notice here, it'll, you can turn it off. You can have the lights only or the lights and the chime. So it defaults to the lights and the chime, so make sure it's on that setting. You'll notice as you're driving, when someone comes into your blind spot, the indicator light comes on. Each time someone comes, that light will come on. If you go to put your blinker on, you'll hear a chime if someone comes in your blind spot. So such an amazing safety feature here from infotainment.com. We do this upgrade and so much more at infotainment.com. Not only the front headlights, but also the tail lights, the LED version, which looks really cool. Um, furthermore, the fog lamps, you can go from the halogen to the LED. And then another video we have, we show you how to install the LED bed lights. So you're really surrounding the outside of the vehicle with the latest technology. On the inside of the vehicle, we do so much more. We do the digital cluster upgrade, so you can go from the base model to the full digital cluster. Uh, we do every single factory radio upgrade that RAM offers, whether it's this radio here with just satellite radio, or you can go to the 8.4 inch UAM option code, which includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The UAV option code, which includes uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and built-in navigation. Then, of course, the awesome upgrade, the 12 inch, which includes everything. That's a cool upgrade. Uh, other things we do, we do power folding mirrors. We do blind spot monitoring using all factory parts engineered right here by infotainment.com. What about cat skin leather seating? We do that as well. We also show you guys how to install it. Come over to our website, infotainment.com and check us out.